Off. This is what we came out here, folks. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, let's get this out. Can you get it out? He swallowed that. The thing was not going anywhere. Way in the back. Release the big girl. I don't even know which way she's been. <laughs> She'll be okay. She's ready to go. <laughs> that was so sick. Turn off. Thanks, thanks for doing all press, that. Man. Press the button. That was a sick fish, bro. That's a sick fish. <laughs> man, two casts back to back for you. Bro, how did I, how did you not catch one of those? I didn't cast up that shallow. Oh, you've been fishing deep. Because I remember we always got them right on top of the rock. Yeah, I know. I just been fishing the edge, man. Staying down though, I think it's a walleye. It's funny we both targeted that, uh, so we're catching them on up shallow right now. The sun came out and they're coming off, they're coming up shallow to feed and um, warm their bellies. They can digest a little bit easier. This one's actually staying down, but I don't think it's as big as uh, a couple that you just got. It's a definitely a nice one though. If I can get them in here, I'll just land. Yeah, that's a nice one. Mitch's first so, walleye of the season. 
what we're doing here, guys. Yeah, the first one of the season. Nice one, beautiful, pristine. The last few fish we've got are, have been pristine. So what we're doing here is uh, get a release on them. What we're doing here, guys, is just um, very simple technique. Lots of people were complaining in our last walleye video that we didn't explain the technique. So, the sun's up at its peak. Uh, we got three nice, chunky, healthy walleye in the boat. Ben's must have been like, uh, I think it was around seven or eight pounds. We'll have to look at the footage again and uh, come to a conclusion. But uh, yeah, we're just trying to um, duplicate the pattern around the lake and uh, um, they're coming up on the rocks and uh, where it's warm and the sun's out. This morning was cloudy, so I think they're coming up now. So we're gonna get up some more rocks and uh, try and get a few more. Hopefully, a couple liters too. We haven't had walleye since like June last year or something. Oh yeah. It's on, right? Yeah. Great. They just hooked oh, up. Yeah, nice one. Here, I got it. Oh, oh, yeah, that is a nice one. Oh, yeah, that is a nice one. Choked my uh, power bait. Yeah. Real good. Just, man. Today we've had beautiful, healthy eyes today. <laughs> Slippy. Slippy, slimy. Just beautiful. I don't even want to keep them so pristine. Why? I don't know, it's fighting weird. That's how the big ones fight. I think it got tangled up. Yeah, it is a walleye. That's a nice one, bro. And there's a smallie behind it. Sick, let me get in the water. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's so sick. <laughs> this, man, the coloration on this one is cool. So sick, look at the colors. Bro, look at the colors on this one. Being very oh. ginger, although he's flaring his gills, he doesn't like that. Oh, look at the colors. That is cool coloration. Let me get down the side. I'll hold it up sideways. Yeah. Very cool. so healthy and chunky. Man, it's such a cool looking fish, man. I've never seen colors like that before. He is really cool. Open up. Yeah, so blotchy, eh? Look at that side. Yeah, it's unreal. <laughs> I just want to go over quickly bait presentation gear. Just talk about technique. So make some things clear here. Keep in mind, this applies to early season walleye. 90% of the time I'm fishing a jig. Three to four inch plastic, quarter ounce jig head. You can downsize when need be when the fishing's tough. Obviously there's variables as with everything. Plastic doesn't really matter. Just keep it natural guys, not too flashy. 
flashy works in certain situations. We can talk about that later. I have 10 pound nano suffix, nano braid as a main line. Then I have about two meters of six pound suffix fluorocarbon. This helps with super sensitivity. I can feel when I'm going through rock, weed, anything like that. That's what we were fishing today. Six, seven, medium heavy concept rod paired with a 13 fishing Cree 2000X. This is what I feel most comfortable with. Uh, let's get over to the water and I'll show you how I fish it. What I'm doing right now is letting it sink, waiting for my line to go slack so I know I'm on bottom. Then I'm gonna lift it up slow, maybe some jiggles. So it's just swimming forward towards me, nice and natural movement. Then I draw my rod tip and wait for the line to go slack again and lift it up and just repeat until it comes back to you. And I'm just waiting for a pickup or when the bite's on and hot and when they're eating, you'll see your line jump if you're using braid, uh, well, even fluorocarbon and mono the odd time, but it's pretty natural. And uh, this is the main technique I use for walleye. Well, that's gonna about do it for us today. We had a, we had a great day once the afternoon uh, hit and the sun came up. So uh, we got what, we landed three and lost a couple others probably. Um, but nothing under three pounds they're all chunky Ben got the nicest one of the day uh around seven or eight pounds or whatever My and we're gonna try to make more walleye videos this year so keep an eye yeah, out so for stick that around. <laughs> stick around stick around <laughs>